More than 1,200 people have died in South Dakota because of COVID-19. Each person was a loved one, now gone because of the pandemic. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Lauren Solik shares the stories of two of the victims as told through the eyes of those close to them. Kelsey Shoneman describes her grandma as the quintessential South Dakotan farmer's wife. She uh, loved her family. She loved um, being on the farm. She loved, um, you know, bringing people around the table for food with food. Hazel Shoneman had a big role in the lives of her grandchildren. Growing up, she helped us with our 4-H projects. Um, she taught all of us to sew and cook um, so and bake. Um, so we did a lot of that over at her house. They're fond memories for those who love her. She was living with dementia and she um, then got sick with COVID um, and just progressively deteriorated her body. And then um, ultimately she passed away. Hazel Shoneman may have been 91 and living with dementia, but losing her was still hard for the family. Kelsey Shoneman looks back on her last moment with her grandma at a nursing home in August. Me and my twin sister went and, um, you know, the nurse came out to like help her back inside and she was like, the nurse asked her like, oh, are those, are they twins? And she was like, yep, they're my twin granddaughters. Um, so she knew um, exactly who we were. So that was nice. Um, you know, she didn't always remember a lot of things, um, but to, you know, just to hear her, her pride in her voice with her about her family was nice. To his friends and many in the world of high school athletics, Buck Timmons was special. You know, he was unique, um, kind, soft-spoken, you know, and each aspect of his life, and you know. Timmons spent decades officiating high school sports and teaching. He recently served as the officials coordinator for the South Dakota High School Activities Association. His ability to get younger referees uh, into that profession, uh, the things that he did to grow them, uh, and, and also the fact that so many school districts knew Buck, um, got to see him, got to know him so well over the years. Uh, and just the fact that he put so much time and effort into it and I mean, everybody knew him. But uh, when Buck was in the gym, everybody knew it and uh, everybody would like to go talk to him. At the age of 72, Timmons contracted COVID-19. It, it, it was a lot like Buck, it was quiet. Um, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, didn't really hear a whole lot about it. And all of a sudden, you know, we get the word that he had passed. So I remember the couple days before he passed, we were sitting there thinking, we're probably going to see Buck. It's been about two weeks or a little bit longer. So I'm sure we'll see him and, and ask him how things are going. And then what we heard was on that Monday when he passed away and, and how, uh, it, it just was just out of this world. For the friends and family of Buck Timmons and Hazel Shoneman, they will always be more than a number. They are loved ones who will always have a spot in their hearts. I will always remember um, sewing with her every time I sew. You know, I'm not as good as she was, but um, I wouldn't have learned that otherwise had she not you know, shown me how and took the time to teach all of us grandkids how to sew. I think that uh, what I'll uh, always remember again about Buck is his ability to help us out whenever we needed to. After you had a conversation with Buck and you walked away, you felt better about yourself um, because he, he remembered everything uh, about you. He asked about your family. Um, he asked about your friends. Lessons and conversations which are now cherished memories. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solik. We want to hear from you if you've been impacted by COVID-19, if you're currently fighting it, have recovered, or if you've lost a loved one. Help us take a look at the faces of COVID-19 by emailing us at youshare at